What's up guys, I'm Skinner. And I'm Randy. And we're AC3TV. And today, we're gonna show you, the attendees, how to survive during the convention with this survival guide. So, I'd like to start off with a good stretch before the convention. You know, get it stretch in, stretch, good. stretch out the hammies, you know? Get the, the calves, get it rolling. Doctors recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. You know what else they recommend? Shoes, because they're super important. And you wanna have the most comfy shoes for this convention, because you're gonna be doing more walking than you normally do at HEB. This is true. So, Unless you already have your list prepared and know what you're going to get hit up, you're going to be walking around quite a bit. Now make sure guys that you also have meeting spots set up because you don't want to lose those family members and be searching for them all day while you could be enjoying a panel or shopping. So make sure that you know where you're going to meet and what times. And whenever you can't find up with, meet up with these people, you want to make sure that you have a phone charger handy. So that way you can keep the power supply going to find these people when they're not at their designated meeting spot whenever the parents ask. This is true. Now, before you get to the con, you're going to want to look into something else, namely parking. There's tons of parking that the city provides, so just make sure that you keep an eye out and set up where you're going to park in advance. And for parking, you're going to need some money. Now, credit card, debit cards, they are accepted, but as I always say, cash is king. So make sure you have plenty of that on hand. Now, if you're going to be spending money, you want to make the best choices possible. So make sure that you get a get a full eight hours of sleep the night before. You want to be well rested so you can make the best choices on where your money should go. Yeah, and to make wise decisions, you also need to have a balanced breakfast so your mind is sharp also. True, very true. I agree with that, Skinner, very much. <laughs> now guys, you're gonna be buying stuff, stuff that you probably want to protect because it's not gonna be cheap. So make sure, if you've never been before, there are artist tubes for your art that you can roll them up and place them in. There's also different covers for any type of specific art that you might buy. So make sure that you come prepared for those little purchases as well. Yeah, you can also find a lot of that protective stuff at the recommended booths uh, that you're buying a lot of your product from. So uh, no worries on that. But one of my favorite and the last on the list, which is super important, is hand sanitizer. This is true because you're going to be doing a lot of this with people that you're buying stuff from and then you're going to look at your hand <gasps> and go, oh, but who is he touched today? Yeah, so yeah, you want to make sure, and in the profession we call it the concrete. You don't want to get that. It's not fun and it lasts forever. So that's what we got for you guys. If you have any other questions about how to better prepare for the convention, let us know in the comments below.